1958, Ark Royal went in for her first refit. From 1959, she carried supermarine scimitars and the new de Havilland Sea Vixen. The scimitar was the first aircraft within the fleet air arm to have a nuclear capability and was a significant advance on the sea. Designed as an interceptor, the scimitar took on the role of low-level tactical bomber. The Sea Vixen greatly enhanced the fleet air arm's ability to protect the fleet, as it was faster than the old Sea Venom and had an all-missile armament. Scimitars and Sea Vixens served on Ark Royal until her second major refit in 1967. Her port deck edge was extended and a new midship's catapult fitted to allow her to operate phantoms as well as buccaneers and gannets. The range director then marshals a phantom out to go after the gannet on the waste cap. Thousands of pounds of fuel burning away behind, so it's got to be a slick operation. The second engine winds up. Truck men hang on for dear life during power checks. Fire suit men stand by. The crew's clear. FDO winding up to take off power. Full power. Green from Trico. Go. Back into the seat and away. All good. Thumbs up. The steam catapult is a great advance on earlier catapults and the ride that you get is very smooth um, and you, you're advised to put your head back before you're fired off because if you don't you're liable to bang it uh, on the headrest but uh, this sort of things happen on the smoothest of catapults. Taking off and landing from an aircraft carrier is uh, a, a very exhilarating experience. Uh, it is far less difficult than people think it is. Uh, the Buccaneer, in particular, um, it, when you're launched from the carrier, you're launched hands off. Uh, that means that you have, in fact, got your left hand holding the throttles forward to make sure that they won't come back with the force of going down the catapult. With your right hand, you're not touching the stick at all. The aeroplane is properly trimmed and you just leave your right hand on your knee and uh, when, after you've been launched, then with no great hurry you just take over the aeroplane and fly it away. However, not all pilots always found it so easy. 